what we're going to start doing is doing some reviews on particular pistols or AEGs or types of weapons that I have. Um, this was a suggestion that I had from some of my squad mates that I should go and, and do this. So we're going to start out with a recent acquisition that I have and uh, we're going to go from there. What we have here is uh, two TT-33s. In here is the wing gun version and in my pistol holster here that I have is a very tight KWA version. Okay, I'm going to put them there side by side so you can see them. Um, I picked up a holster for it um, relatively cheap. Actually holds the mags uh, pretty good and they slide in and out there without an issue. Uh, and I have been working on the leather to try to form it and get the gun to fit in there. The only issue I had with the KWA fitting in there is I had to cut the bottom out, which on a normal one, this is sealed, to allow the orange tip to get out of there so the gun will fit down farther. What happens is that on this particular holster, as you can see, if I push in with my thumb on the receiver so it goes in there, it does go through and stick out the bottom. And it does allow the strap to close, but I had to modify that a little bit because the mag and the pistol are a little bit thicker than normal. Now, this is close to a regulation style, a real steel mag, um, compared to the TT, the wind gun TT-33. The wind gun TT-33 mag is just this little piece of metal here. But what you'll notice though, when you put it in this holster, fits in like a glove. Lots of room. I don't have to kill myself getting this buttoned. Okay. Um, the only thing is the extra mags will not fit in this, so I'm ending up carrying them in my pocket. I wouldn't need this. And without that on there, this closes even easier and it's good to go. I also have a black version of this that I'm working to try to get it to fit. I was figuring on gas blow black version in the green gas one in this one and the CO2 in the other version. So anyway, what we're going to do is look at the two guns side by side. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice, this might be kind of hard to see on the video, <coughs> basic designs are the same. This one has a, a, a more shiny plastic grip where this has a rubberized, more rubberized grip. The other difference that you can see right away is that the width of the guns, hard to see in this video, but you can see when it was going in the holster, the frame on the KWA version is actually a tad thicker even though everything else lines up with the grip and everything like that the same. The only other difference too is the end of the barrels. As you can see this is a larger red tip compared to a smaller red tip. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a FPS portion of this shooting and things like that but I'm noticing that there, the green gas version is a little hotter than the CO2 version unless you have like a real fresh cartridge. Now I've had two or three mags through this already so I might show changing out the mag on this. Um, weight wise the CO2 version is a tad lighter and I think that has all to do with the magazine for the KWA version. Without the magazine in there it's pretty close. With the magazine you have that extra weight and goes pretty good. Now, another thing to look at is with the green gas version, KWA version, the slide goes back quite a bit and I fixed it so it's got a little bit better recoil coming back there. It was driving me nuts. You've got quite a bit of movement. You're talking about an inch and a half there, maybe an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. And on the blowback it's pretty crisp. On the CO2 version you've got a small movement, not as much. And the slide goes pretty decent, um, not as snappy as the CO2 or the KWA one is, but when you're shooting this, it does have a significant snap to it. Uh, I'll show that in the shooting test. Okay, one other difference too that you'll see, uh, both have the designs here 
on the uh, pistol grip where you can see the uh, Russian Russian star CCP CCP triple CP same on both ones it's on both sides on each gun okay now the KWA version and that it's the the wind gun version seems to have a little bit bigger trigger mechanism okay and the KWA has a serial number right here with KWA where the wind gun one does not okay on this side wind gun does have a small little serial number right here and it has a functioning safety right here on the KWA version there it just says manufactured in Taiwan that's all you got on this side um, there are some numbers on the top on the KWA version and nothing on the wind gun version you can see I don't know if you can see that but there are some serial numbers one other functional difference that you're gonna see of, besides the safety on the side here on the class of uh, the KWA version you have a takedown you basically slide this back the slide will come off and you can adjust the hop up inside which I've done for 0.28 BBs this I am a little lost on it this portion here which you think should release the slide does not move that's molded into the frame itself okay as you I don't know if you can see that in the video but I did try to bang that I thought it was painted you know like stuck I give it a little tap with a, a hammer uh, you know a chisel and nothing happened so I don't know where the hop up is on this but I'm gonna have to look around and see if I can find something online or if somebody knows something different according to Eli's -like site it says hop up adjustable yes so there you are okay just so you can see we're gonna do a blowback test just so you can see how this works um, the mag is empty got some green gas in it the pistol is clear there are no BBs in it okay so we're gonna put the mag in now to be able to do the blowback I'm gonna hold down on the mag the slide catch and do a couple of shots with this seems pretty crisp there's no big issues with that now same thing here see the mag is empty on this one can't see the chamber um, to see so we're gonna put it on safe okay there's no BBs you don't really even need the mag in there so I'll take that out just now this has had uh, three mags through it so the CO2 cartridge might be getting down uh, I am gonna put a new cartridge in on film here so uh, we'll we'll chrono it with the full cartridge it's got a crisp snap to it um, the only downside that I will say on these is the KDWA has a little funky trigger. It moves around a little bit up and down. Uh, it's kind of, it might not translate on video for that. So that when you pull the trigger, it has a tendency to go one side or the other. Once you get it right, if you go up, it'll still fire. If you go down, it still fires because it rocks back in. But that movement on the trigger a little bit is kind of funky I don't know if something they're gonna fix that at KWA uh, one of the things I do like between the two before I go any farther is there there is no functioning safety on the KWA version I guess you could release release the hammer take out the mag release the hammer put the mag back in and that would be your functional safety um, it doesn't ha it doesn't have a like a half cock thing but you can still fire it a little bit it's not a double till you cock the hammer back then you're fine this one has actual functioning safety when you push that in that whole trigger mechanism doesn't move now one of the things that I got got messed me up a little bit when I was using this is I thought there was CO2 was having a problem the trigger pull I'm gonna pull it with my opposite finger look how far back in that goes that goes in almost all the way but you don't get any firing till right at the end there okay so it, it really throws me off when I was doing it I would pull this in nothing 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 I'm like what's going on 
I said, it's not shooting. I said, I got a defective gun. So then I end up giving it that little extra right there it shoots. So in a way, you could, when you're getting ready to fire, put your finger on the trigger, get it ready, ready to fire, you're right in the position to fire, and then you got it. It does throw people off. With a glove, you put a big heavy glove in there and it does move it, so you don't have to worry about it's going to fire it, but it does throw you off a little bit when you're shooting. Okay, we're going to start off with the uh, KWA. I want to show you the mag. It has this little follower right here that you can pull down and supposedly lock in place. Now, I don't like doing this, but you can, like, click it up and the BBs will fly up. Um, I've pulled it down, forgot to do that little pressed part there, and the BBs have not flown out. So, it's important to do that. So, what we're going to do... I got five BBs in here. We're going to do five shots. I hit the side. 309, 304, 312, and 306. Averaging about 300 to 35. That 312 was a uh, kind of a anomaly. One other thing that I want to go over here is the round capacity. According to Evike site, the Wingun T33 gets 13 rounds in there, and it does get 13 BBs. According to Evike site, the KWA uh, TT33 gets 11 rounds. I got 10, and that's as many as I can get. It's all the way down. You might be able to sneak a 11th one in there, but I'm finding that I can't get the 11th one in and make it go off that holding thing. So if I put the 11th one in, it's down below where it holds and it won't feed the magazine. So that's where we are with that. Just thought I'd mention that. What you get with the Wingun T33 is real simplistic here. You've got the gun, of course. Your little manual, which comes in English and German and I think it's Russian, yeah, that's three different languages. Very simplistic, not much to it. You get one magazine, you get your little tool, uh, Allen wrench tool, little bag of cheapo BBs, and the gun, of course. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the CO2 cartridge and give you an idea what it looks like. Okay, here we have everything that you need to get the job done. Uh, 12 gram CO2 cartridge, your Allen key that comes with the gun, the gun itself and what I use on all my CO2 weapons is Pell gun oil. It um, sell it anywhere, Amazon, Pyramid Air, a whole bunch of different sites. It is specifically made to put on CO2 cartridges when you're putting them in and I'll show you how I do that. To remove the uh, cover, there's a little lip right here, just grab that and it pops right open. Little gotcha on this and I'm going to show you that as I'm putting the CO2 cartridge in is sometimes the CO2 cartridge can like slide up then you can't get this on. I'll show you a little trick on how to get that out. They're telling me that this won't cycle when it's low on CO2 and as you can tell it did. I have no idea why it there it's finally going again and now it stopped again. So the CO2 is low but if you cock the hammer it will fire. So if you have a BB you could do it in single action mode and get some action out of it but it when it's low it will not cycle the CO2. Okay so what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna loosen the CO2 cartridge up with the Allen key and there was some CO2 in there so and that just drops out. Okay first thing I do is on the top of the CO2 cartridge I put a small drop you don't have to gook it on there, a small drop of just enough to cover it in like a little bead. And of course you want to put the cartridge in that way. And what I found is if I put the cover on this, it centers the cartridge better. So that when I tighten, I get it to where it goes. Okay, there it's hitting. 
and I'm going to give it a like a little bit more till I hear the sys stop. There, that's it. I only went a small bit past. So that now you got a real big crisp shot. So I'm going to do the chrono again on this just to see that what what we get on the chrono. Okay, I have a full magazine. You can see the BBs in there. And a brand new CO2 cartridge. So we're going to see how we do on the shots. Now, I have it cocked. I want to see if it's actually going to put a BB down range with it just cocked like that. And it does. 500. That's what I'm telling you. It's really, really hard with a brand new cart. This is two fives, too, matter of fact. Hit the side. 392, 380, 377, 363, 360, 348, 339, 326, and it's out of BBs. For some reason, that cartridge is in there. Try it again. I cannot get that mag out of there. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go off camera and see what's going on. While we're doing it, we might as well do a full gas on the KWA as well, just see what we're getting on this again. Nothing. Probably don't have the mag released. Yeah, I don't. See, now see what happened? It didn't let the BBs come up. If you push the button, down they're coming up. That's horrible. Okay. 303, 299, 301, 301, 298, 299, 303, 295, 301, and 300. I think what I'm having a problem with is that uh, it's hitting the sides as I'm shooting, so I don't think that's really a problem roughly around 300 to 305. Um, I did get the magazine out of here. There is two BBs left for some reason. It won't fire them. Um, we're going to try and shoot them again just to see. And we're going to put take it off safe. And one fifty three. And for some reason, the, it won't let the uh, magazine come out. I want to show you something on this. <clears throat> I didn't realize, and I, I can see what's going on. The gun is on fire right now. <clears throat> if the trigger is back just a tad, you cannot put it on safety. Well, there I could. But if it's back just a little bit, it won't go on safety until you push it. And if it can go on safety... Then you get the mag out. If it's on fire, okay, and you try to get the mag out, it comes out. But if the trigger's slightly pushed and sticks in a little bit, the mag won't come out right there, see? And I just do it again, and the mag will come out. For some reason, the trigger is sticking a little bit. Um, I don't know if I need to uh, lubricate that a little bit or whatever, but if you fire it, if you fire it, okay, let off the trigger, it'll come off. If you let it spring out, then it'll come out. So, just found out what was going on with that. Final conclusion, um, very good guns. Um, the KWA shooting around 300 to 305 with a green gas, or propane I was using at the time, and .25. Greg, excellent gun for CQB. I don't want to hurt people when I'm in there, so this is a perfect gun for there. Outdoor play, um, with a brand new CO2 cartridge, you saw that it was shooting, that one 505, that was an anomaly. It's shooting around 400, 390 to 400, which... That's what the e -like is saying, 390 to 400, 420. So it is shooting about that. It might be a tad hot. Uh, brand new CO2 cartridge, yeah, run maybe run a cartridge through and 
you'll be under the limit for most outdoor fields. Uh, indoors, no good. Uh, this is going to hurt people, so I'm not going to use this indoors. But my whole idea behind this is cold outside to be using this. So, warm weather, green gas. Cold weather, CO2. Both work. And I have the two different brown for the one rig and black for my winter rig. So, both will work, both fit. Uh, more realistically, the uh, KWA with the uh, standard size magazine, single stack, it does look more realistic. Uh, it does have the break breakdown where you can uh, get in and adjust the hop up from inside there. This one, higher capacity uh, magazine only by two. Um, little, shoots a little bit harder FPS, a uh, little bit snappier kick. Uh, has a functioning safety compared to this, longer trigger pull which is a little flaky, but I cannot find the adjustment for the hop up. Like I said, this is a fake uh, lever here where this one is a real wet lever which you can pull back and then take the gun apart on the KWA. This one is actually part of the metal itself so it doesn't move. Uh, other than that, very good guns, work out great. Uh, and compared to 135 bucks, compared to $89, it is a little bit more inexpensive to uh, run the CO2. Um, easier to carry the 12 gram uh, cartridges with you too. You can throw three or four on your pack compared to carrying a, a, a green gas uh, propane tank or even one of the little refill grenades. Um, they would work okay, but the CO2 is easier to uh, uh, Last longer, easier to carry, a little harder to change out. You need the Allen wrench, but you could just fill the gas here. So they, they both have their pluses and minuses. Both are very good guns, and both are good buys. For a Russian loadout, this is excellent. Um, I'm also looking into uh, Markov. The KWA is coming out with a new Markov. It's supposed to be out next month. I'm probably going to be picking that one up, and I will review that one when I get it in. There are other versions of it already out. KWC has one, and I think there's a wind gun version as well, but both of those versions are CO2, and they list at 450 plus on the FPS. So outside it might be okay, but it's still that's a little hot for even outside, for over 450 with a pistol. So, And being that I'm going to be engaging in close distances, I don't want to be shooting somebody at 450 within 10 feet. So uh, I might go with the Markov that's coming out because that's supposed to be a little less FPS and it's green gas. So be a summer gun. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope uh, you find this review helpful, and keep watching. Bye now.